You are about to experience the best in professional audio, lighting, DJ gear, special effects, and video. We are AGIProDJ.com. Hey, how you doing? This is Stu with Den and DJ here at AGI Pro DJ headquarters. Going to show you how to set up sound switch with your Prime 4 to take your performance to the next level. So we have a couple connections in order to make everything work efficiently and smooth. Having the Prime 4, talking to the computer, talking to the lights. So first, let's take a look at the back of the Prime 4 unit here. First coming out of the Prime 4 via the stage link Ethernet connection from the Prime 4 into an Ethernet on the computer. Now depending on your computer, you may need an adapter. This is then communicating with sound switch, which is running on the computer. Then out of the computer, sound switch will send DMX information through the new sound switch micro DMX interface into the assigned lights. In this situation, we're using Chauvet FX PAR 3s. So the first thing we're going to want to do within the sound switch interface is analyze a couple of songs. We'll go over to our engine library, select our collection, pick a couple songs, right click, and hit auto script. Now we can change the auto script parameters, making it more intense, changing how fast the movement happens, how much color change speed is, but we're going to leave it as the default right now and hit start. You'll notice once it starts analyzing, the tracks go really quickly and you'll have your whole collection analyzed in a matter of moments. And just a matter of movie magic moments. So once your auto scripting is done, you'll notice that if you come back to your collection, save all the changes, right here on the left we have that it is sound switch analyzed. We load a track, we're able to see the light show at the bottom. Our next step here is to set up our universe. So we're going to go up to the right hand corner, click plus to add our fixtures, quickly find our fixtures. In this case we're using effects par 3, 9 channel, and we're going to add multiples. We have two, hit next. Now we can assign the DMX addresses. We have the first one set to 1 and the second one set to 10 because they are 9 channels. So we add and we can see our fixtures over here on the right. Now, we simply go back into File, Switch Modes, save all of our unsaved changes, go to Performer, we set it up as a default venue. So let's recap, we've analyzed our tracks, we have all our connections set up, we simply come over to our Prime 4, start the playback, and as we bring in the up fader, we'll notice the lights reacting to the track and following the intensity, taking our performance to a next level, driving the energy and the mood on the dance floor.